beauties how's everybody doing thanks for joining me welcome back today i'm going to do uh what i'm liking and not so much and i'm collabing with julie smith so if you guys would like to see what i'm liking and maybe a not so much keep on watching Okay, so first of all, I wanted to say I am doing another collab with my What I'm Liking and Not So Much, and it is Julie Smith. If you guys do not know who Julie Smith is, I will put a link down below to her video. Please go check her out, subscribe if you like, and give her a thumbs up and show her some support. I've known Julie Smith from when, I think we were doing like Shout Out Saturday. One of the things I noticed right away was her eyes. She has these vivid eyes that kind of capture you and then she has a very nice soft-spoken voice I know a lot of people always say about my voice being soft-spoken but she has a really nice soft-spoken voice and you know she's just so genuine down to earth of a person and I really enjoy getting to watch her and getting to know her as I've gone through with the rest of my lovely people here on YouTube and she just, she adds that extra something to the uh, mature beauty community. I'm sure many of you might see her because she probably comments on your videos because uh, she's subscribed to a lot of us. And it's such a nice community that we have because we do all each, you know, associate, associate with each other in different things. And, you know, H1 brings something a little bit different and share with us that might help us figure out what we might want to try or might th that might work for us. Pretty much, I think she does work on a little bit more budget-friendly items. Uh, she's like me, she loves TJ Maxx or anything like that. And I know she's reminded me, because like she'll show some Avon. I think she has, she gets some Avon products. And you know, she was sharing some Avon items that she had that she was kind of really enjoying. And it's been a while since I've actually gotten anything from Avon. But I'm going to put a link down below to her video. Please go check her out. Like I said, she's just a loving, warm, kind-hearted person. And she's so genuine and dear. And I just, I really enjoy watching her. Let's get on to my likes. I don't feel there, I, as far as I can, no. There's not really anything here that is not so much right now. Some items here were, that I do have are from my haul. I did a haul video just recently. I've been playing around with them for hmm, probably about a week now, maybe a week and a half, because some of the items I had already had and I waited to put the haul video up. All right, so for hair products, uh, this product here, I actually shared on a What Am I Liking Not So Much um, months ago. This was like sometime last year, and it was actually a not so much because I wasn't noticing anything of this product doing to my hair really like I felt like I'd put it in my hair and it wasn't you know um, accentuating my curls or anything but let me tell you I'm really liking this product now sometimes like just just like your primer when you're putting a primer on some primers do not work with certain foundations some of them don't mesh too well same thing with your hair products I was using a good bit of OGX products because they do as You've seen it even in my haul video. They sent me PR. So when I'm thinking back, when I shared this item and it wasn't working for me, I it might have been with because of those products. They didn't work so well with this uh, L'Oreal. I didn't even say the item, did I? I didn't even tell you that the item is. It's L'Oreal Curve It Curl Taming Gel Cream. I really like this product now, but I think it's working well with some of the other shampoos and conditioners that I'm using right now too. You know, cause I wanted to use this. I wanted to try it. I like to give some things another benefit of the doubt and try it again. And you know, cause I, you spend your money and a lot of these products aren't cheap anymore. I pulled it out a couple different times when I was doing my hair and I thought, wow, okay, this, it kind of did. And that's what I actually used in my hair just this last time when I did my hair. So Maui Moisture, uh, what is this? The Curl Smoothie. Yeah, Curl Smoothie. This Maui Moisture stuff here, it is really nice. It really does soften the curls, condition the curls, and it did seem to help with frizz. I really, I liked it. I thought it did a really nice uh, coating for my curls and soften them and I, I really liked it. Everything else is pretty much makeup. 
I did get to try a lot of my uh, CoverGirl products that was sent to me from CoverGirl. Uh, so a lot of products that I'm wearing right now is um, products that they sent me. And I also worked in a couple of my CoverGirl items that I already had and I purchased. So one of them items I used, and I really do like this. I'm surprised because CoverGirl can be a hit and miss also for me in foundations. I think I tried the one that had some kind of oil, the oil volet in it, and it was like a mousse substance. It was in a jar. That one didn't really work or pan out for me, so I didn't really care for it. Uh, a lot of theirs with the Noxzema scent, I'm not really big on, but Noxzema never usually agreed with me anyway, so I think that's another reason why uh, CoverGirl can be a hit and miss for me. But this one, the Ready Set Gorgeous. I really have been liking it. I'm pretty impressed. It's not a flat mat. It kind of gives a semi mat, if if I want to say. It. And I'm not really big. You know that. I am somebody that likes more of the luminous, dewy, or something that gives a little more glow to my skin. But this foundation, I don't know. There's something about it that works really good for me. So yeah. I have that on today. I totally almost forgot about this because I was thinking, do I have a concealer from CoverGirl? And I was like, oh my gosh, yes, I do. And it's the CoverGirl, the Depuffer Eye Concealer. And it comes in this purple tube like this. Now this came with, I got this with the um, that mousse CoverGirl that I was talking about that didn't work for me. This, it has the applicator like one of, like these do, like, it's you know gives you like a cooling effect it does feel nice but i feel it's better if you get it to come out on your finger and then dab it along yes been liking that so this item here that covergirl sent me to kitty cat pearl shadow and highlighter and i actually did use it on my cheeks as a highlighter to highlight around here i put a little bit here at the brow bone and then in the center of my eye look that I did, I put it on top and patted it a little bit and put it on top and did it all that way. And I actually have to say, it's not a bad item. It does have similar to the color, color tattoo uh, consistency. And, you know, but the one thing I noticed, because the one day what I did was I put this on my eyes and I just had it on my eyelid and then used a crease color the one day and it lasted. I don't know if it would be for everybody because it depends, you know, some people don't like highlighters like that. They just like the, you know, powder high highlighters, but I do think it's a good product. You know, eyeliner. Oh yes. Like, which if you want to see any swatches, any swatches for many of these items here from the, uh, you just, I'll put a link to my haul video and you can go ahead and see the swatches uh, to the products and everything. But this here, this green one, what is it called? Permade. Yeah, Permade. This green one, oh my goodness. Now, I know they have other colors. I do have to work with it. I have it on my, I don't know how well you can see on my lower lash line area. I did take some pictures to put on, but I did put it all along on my lower lash line and inner uh, rim and all that kind of stuff. I just put it all and worked it all in there. I do like it. I think it's a nice eyeliner. Uh, it seems to last because I did this another another day. I did this a couple days ago, the same thing on the bottom lash line. And the same power, I'd say pretty much it stayed there the whole entire time. So it lasted pretty good. Rimmel, I did get this here, the brow this way item. Uh, mine's more in the dark brown. It's a bristle right here is one of them real small little bristles. What I do, because when you pull it out, and the first time I pulled it out and everything, and I was applying it, there was a little bit too much on here. That's probably the one downfall about this for me is you do have to be very careful, very light-handed. If you do not get light-handed, you are going to look like Groucho Marx. <laughs> no joke, you will look like Groucho Marx. So you have to be very light handed. And the area that I always work first, and I'm not no makeup artist professional or anything like that. So most of y'all know that I just like playing with my makeup and I learn as I go from 
YouTube videos and makeup artists that I watch or see and everything. So that's how I, I learn everything. So, and what I do, cause it has worked for me and I've seen Mally Beauty do it is work, start from this end first. Don't start right away in here. Cause if you do, uh, you don't want it real dark. You don't want to have it like real dark in here and then you're going, you know, so I always start around here first in the middle. It, that's what works best for me. But you have to do very light hand with this. And what I've been doing sometimes when I'm pulling it out is I'll take it and I'll scrape it along here on the sides. So that's probably the only nuisance. This is my first one to try uh, as a tinted brow gel. I do like it. And, you know, so if you're interested, I would say give it a try. Just be light handed with it. I knew I was going to wear this a lot and I have it on today. It's the Wet n Wild Ombre Blush and this is the Purple Haze or whatever it's supposed to be called. You know, and again, if you want to see the swatches, it'll be on my haul video. Like I said, I'll have a link down below. Yeah, Purple Haze. And I knew, I just knew as soon as, you know, being purple and everything, that this was going to be a coin and I have used it ever since I got it pretty much every day. There's only been two times that I used the other one that I got from this and one of my Lorac blushes. Otherwise it has been this shade and that is what I have on my cheeks right now. I've been using it every day. Let's go to lips. So I, of course, been playing around with my CoverGirl lip products. And as you can tell, I am wearing the brighter shade. And this is the orange shade that came in the kit. And I gotta say, guys, it is gorgeous. And this is the one that's in Ready to Pounce, which I, like, you know, said, if you want to see these swatches, um, you know, go to that link. But it is a gorgeous orange orangey red shade and you can see the pearlescence in it because this is the pearl pearl line you can see it i i really like it pink one the purdy and pink oh my goodness and like i said i had to get a kick out of that name it's just i love it and it, it is a gorgeous pearly pink and yes this even brightens your face when you wear a pink like this it kind of like brightens your face and with this, I can totally dig a smoky eye and putting this on and putting it like a neutrally color on your cheeks. The other one I pulled out and, you know, I was just in the mood to put a little some color on, but have some lip conditioning, whatever, you know, something like that. And this is the, is it from L'Oreal? I believe so. Color Rich Lip Balms. I think they still have these. There, you could probably see it. Like that. This is in the shade Tender Mauve. 518 Tender Mauve. And this is so pretty. I love it. I for, kind of forgot. I have a coral shade, but it's a beautiful mauve color and it does do nice lip condition. It doesn't last forever in a day. It's one of the ones that, you know, of course you have to reapply. And, you know, it's kind of a little bit sheer and glossy, shiny looking. If you like that, you'll love one. You'll love these. I knew I was going to get this palette. I actually did a blog on, so if you want to see swatches and hear more, you know, whatever uh, about the palette itself, I'll put the, lo the log. <laughs> I'll put the log. Yeah, there's there's a log. There's going to be a log down in the description, in the, in the bottom of the description. I don't know where sometimes I come up with my words, I swear. In my blog, I will put the link down below to it so you can go and check it out and uh, hear more of my thoughts and a little bit more about the palette and see the colors, the swatches. But it is the Too Faced Natural, what is it called? Natural, Natural Love Palette. I, I knew I was going to get this. So packaging like my video bought for the packaging yes that was the first thing because i thought oh my god honestly this has to be the most prettiest packaging for me in the Too faced now this is my most favorite favorite packaging from Too faced and they really just did a 
beautiful, beautiful job. I did have the natural original palette, the first one, but it did get stolen. So there was that. And of course, then they brought the newer one out and changed a few of the colors in it. Not all of them, but a few of them they did. So, but yes, the lettering is a nice velvety, smooth lettering. And all, all this pink in it has like bunnies. Where's the bunny? Like, there's the bunny and the birds and just oh, gorgeous packaging. The nice mirror there and you can fold it back and there is all the colors. It is simply, simply gorgeous. And it does have several colors that were from some of their natural palettes in here. And I have used this pretty much every single day since I got it and it's been two weeks I think now I think two weeks I think yeah and that's one of the looks the colors I used on my eyes and then put that uh, kitty cat in the center in 2009 the natural eye palette and then in 2011 there was the natural um, natural at night palette so if you remember seeing that this one and well oh, this is the original one. So those two, some of the colors are incorporated in here. And then 2013, Natural Eyes gets a makeover. So this is the newer one that they have now. And the Natural Matte, there's the Natural Matte. They have some of them from that. So they took all four of these palettes and then plus they added other colors like new colors but they took some colors from those incorporated into this palette and then uh, put some newer colors in here and honey pot is one of my favorite colors I've always liked it and I have it in one other palette so it's in this one that's honey pot it's like a beautiful golden -y shade and satin sheets oh my goodness I think satin sheets is in another different palette that is it guys I so very much appreciate you coming by and joining me and watching me. Don't forget to go and check out Julie Smith's video. I can't wait to see uh, what she's liking, maybe not liking. And like I said, I didn't have no, no not likes this time around. So that's always good though. If there's no like, if there's no not likes, that's a good thing. So go and check out Julie. I will put a link down below to her video. If you did like my video, please give it a thumbs up. That would help me out so much and I very much appreciate that. And if you did come from Julie's channel or you just happen to run across and come to my channel just from in general, welcome. And there is a subscribe button down below that you can go ahead and click on. And right next to it, there is a bell. And you can join me each week if you hit the subscribe button and also the bell because the bell will notify you by email of when my new videos are up. And I do at least try to upload a video every week, sometimes two, sometimes three. I try to limit it because I don't want to overdo it. I'd love to have you. And as always, beauties, please remember to just be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you take care. I will see you then. Love you guys. Bye.